So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do what's called um, quick table calculations. And quick table calculations, I'm, I'm not going to go through all of them. There are a lot and you can create your own. But I just want to show you like the basic kind of quick table. So things like running total, the percentage of total, uh, the difference, that, those kinds of things. Those are the easiest ones to put together. So um, the example we're going to do is something that is time-based right so it shows the accumulated total so let's do two things uh, let's get order date right and I'm gonna drop it in here but in this case I want it to be continuous so I'm gonna right click on this I'm gonna go continuous okay so now it's continuous and I don't want it by year I want it a little bit more granulated so let's set it to month okay so now I got all the points here now let's add sales in here okay and here we go, now we've got sales. Now I'm gonna show you something a little bit different. I want to have this graphic twice. And the way you do that is, if you grab sales and drop it in here again, you'll get the exact same thing twice. And you can do that as many times as you want, really. Okay, but for this example, we only need two. Okay, and the reason I need two is because I wanna show you kind of a before and after shot. So the one on the top is just we haven't done anything and the one on the bottom we're going to do a running total and the running total is going to be this value plus this value and then the next one is this value plus this value plus this value okay and it keeps going so that I can see over time what my total sales were right in this one at the top it just shows me the sales for that moment in time. So it's telling me that I made that much at that time. But I wanna see how it went for the whole year. Okay, so what I do is I right click on this part right here. Okay, and then I wanna to go to quick table and I wanna go running total. Okay, and you notice this becomes a straight line. Well, almost a straight line, right? What it's doing is it's adding each value. So let's, let me show you actually with the labels. So I'm gonna duplicate this, just holding control on my keyboard. And I'm going to put it like that, just so you can see the values. Then I'm going to do that for this one as well, right? Now, as you can see, this one, the marks is actually split up because the more measures you have, the more marks that you can have. So this one, if I put a label it's or change the color, it's going to change the color on everything, okay? But if I do it individually, I can change them, like, independently, right? You can see the top one turns blue, the bottom one doesn't change, right? Okay, so that's that part there. Now, I'm going to add the labels to this one. So again, duplicate using the control button. So now if I take these first two values, okay, um, it's these ones right here. And I'm going to just trim this to be around this area, just for now, just so you can see. Okay, this value is this one plus this one. Okay, this value is this one plus this one plus this one, okay? And then it goes on. This value is this one plus this one plus this one. So it's totaling as it's running, right? Which is how it gets its name, running total, okay? Let's get rid of that. So that's how it works. And the good thing is it gives a different view. This shows me how I'm going over time. This one says, oh, starting from whatever this date is, January 2015, right, all the way up to November, uh, December 2018, we've made $3 million. It's hard to see that on the one on the top, okay? The top shows something else, right? Um, another quick table we can do is what's called difference, right? So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this top one from a line to a bar, right? And instead of month, oh no, we'll keep it at month, right? Uh, instead of a line, I'm gonna set this to a bar, right? So it's just a little bit easier to see. Um, I'm also just going to trim off some of it. Um, uh, I'm just going to trim off that much, just so we're not dealing with too much data. Okay, And I'm going to go keep only. Keep only means it creates a filter, which we'll get to soon, um, of just that data. So it doesn't show the whole thing. Okay, um, And then we're going to create another sales one. So I'm going to grab sales. I'm going to put it here at the end. All right, so now we have a third one. Okay, And I want this to be a bar as well so um, I can either click here and it goes to this third one or I can just activate it like so okay and let's switch this to a bar all right 
And this is just the same as the one at the top at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to go quick table and I'm going to go difference. Okay. And the ones we're really going to be looking at are um, running total difference and moving average. Those are the three main ones I use. So let's go difference. Okay. And what the difference does is I'm going to get rid of this one in the middle. Okay. It takes the difference between these two. Okay. For this one. All right. So these two are for this one. Right. So if I put a label on this last one here, it's telling me that the difference between these two is 4,036. Then in the next one, right, oops, hang on, let's do that again. In the next one here, it's telling me that the difference is minus 4,7. So there was a drop, okay? So this shows you how much your data is changing over time from one uh, value to the next, okay? And then the third thing I want to show you is the moving average. So I'm going to get just get rid of this filter just so we can have all the values again, right? And I'm going to do something a little bit different just to show you. Let me just get rid of this. Just to show you how moving average works if you've never used it before, right? So I'm going to make this very granular, right? I'm going to change this back to line. And get rid of the labels. And I'm going to make this like day, right? As you can see, it's very jagged. There's a lot of, you know, movement in it, right, in terms of sales. So how can you actually say how it's going on average? You can't just put an average line that goes across. It's not very insightful. So what we do is we do a moving average. So here's how it goes. I'm going to create another sales. Let's drop that in there. All right, so exactly the same. Right click here. I'm going to go quick table and I'm going to go moving average. Okay, now what that does is, and it's a little bit hard to see, let's just take a small portion again. Okay, what it does is, let's say this point right here. It takes the last set of values, adds them up, and divides them by how many values. So this plus this plus this divided by three points gives you this value right here. Okay, and it does that all along the graph. Now, you can take as many values going back, right? And the way you do that is, let me just get rid of this filter. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go edit, right? We're editing this quick table, and I can adjust how many previous values to take. The more values I take, the smoother the line becomes, okay? So I'm going to do little by little. As you can see, the lines are smoothing out because you're averaging, right? And let's just say we do a two-week period. So if you look at the two of these now, significantly different, right, these two. Right, if I close it, it's the same data in a sense, right, but one is average. So obviously you can see a lot better in here. You can see that there's a big spike here, there's spikes, there's troughs, there's, you know, dips and valleys. It, there's a lot more you can say in terms of this data. Now, the thing I'm going to show you in the next video is what's called the dual axis, but uh, I'm just going to show you how to over, I'm just going to overlay these two so you can see what I mean, right? So you'll learn this in the next one. If I put those two together, right, that blue is the average of the jagged daily value. It's actually, it's in there, right? But again, you can see a lot more because it gets rid of all these, not anomalies, but irregularities and roughness in your data, right? And it smooths it out. You can think of it as a smoothing function, right? To give you more insight. So that's the third quick table. In the next one, I'll teach you dual access plots, right? Which is what I just did now. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed and see you next time.